Dr. George Georgiou is a full professor in the Department of Educational Psychology at the University of Alberta and the director of the J.P. Das Center on Developmental and Learning Disabilities. His research focuses on the prevention and remediation of reading disabilities. Hi, I am Dr. George Giorgio, a professor in the Department of Educational Psychology at the University of Alberta and the director of the JP Das Center on Developmental and Learning Disabilities. I'm a member of the College of the Royal Society of Canada since 2018. The topic of my presentation is whether COVID-19 has impacted children's reading scores. This is an important question we have been hearing from different governments across Canada and as well as from different school divisions across Canada and teachers. They are interested if COVID-19 and the school closures and the kids that have been on learning online or face-to-face -face have been impacted by uh, the pandemic. What we currently know um, for the learning losses comes from simulation studies that were done in the past to calculate or estimate the effect of summer holidays when the kids are away on their academic performance. And there are a few of these studies um, conducted primarily in the US, and they have all projected that the kids that come back from their summer holidays, they lose about, um, I would say anything between one third of their learning that they made the previous year in reading, but they are losing a little bit more when it uh, uh, comes to mathematics performance. Since the uh, schools uh, were closed because of the pandemic, many different school divisions, including governments, have tried to measure the impact of COVID-19 and school closures on the performance of their students. And there have been a few reports that have been released, one of them from the UK that shows that the percentages of children in years two to six who are achieving at or above the standard expected from, for their age, dropped by approximately one fifth between the autumn of 2019 and the summer of 2020. That means that this is very similar to what would be expected on the basis of the simulation studies about the summer learning losses and perhaps a little bit more. Uh, one of the most um, uh, known studies that has been done in the US and that included 8,000 schools and currently the largest number of kids involved that were um, measured in grades three to eight. They were found again to be performing a little bit lower than expected in reading, not so much uh, after grade four, where the kids have been found to be uh, achieving at grade level. But the bad news is that in this study, the gap in their mathematics performance dropped by five to 10 percentile points. What I will be presenting today is the data from two studies that we conducted here in Alberta with um, elementary schools uh, K to nine uh, the first study uh, was part of the reading screeners project that we have with several schools here in Alberta, where these schools have been assessing their students in three norm reference reading tasks over the last five years. And they do this as part of their school practice to monitor the progress of their students in reading. So we were very fortunate to have this data before the schools closed and right after the kids came back in after the school closures and the summer um, holidays when the schools reopened in the fall of 2020, they reassessed their students. And what we did was um, to ask the schools 
to calculate the average performance of, of their students in these three measures, the Taure, TOSREC, and TOSREF, in the previous three years, and then subtract the score of the same kids in September 2020 to see how far, if the, if the difference is positive, it means that the kids in September 2020, they are doing better compared to the previous three years. If the scores are negative, it means that they are doing uh, worse than in the previous three years. As you can see here, uh, the scores across tasks in grades two and three, they are negative, meaning that the kids across these areas of reading, decoding, reading fluency, and reading comprehension, they are doing poorly after they came back from the school closures and the summer holidays compared to what they were doing in the previous three years. The kids from grades four onwards, most of the scores are either the same or very small changes up or down. You can see this nicely in this figure where clearly the negative scores are in, the, in grades two and three. Anything above grade three, they seem to have been performing either at grade level or even a little bit better after the schools closed. In the second study, we had been following 1,560 grade one children from September 19 to Mar March 2020. In January of 2020, we identified 540 struggling readers using standardized norm referenced assessments. And we were able to follow these 540 kids again all the way to September when the schools reopened. 409 of them were retested in September of 2020. And we found that among this group of struggling readers, 80% of them or 79.5%. 3% of them remained poor readers in September 2020 in word reading, and a little bit more um, um, were poor readers also in pseudo word decoding. So, what do these results tell us? Is that the children have been impacted by the school closures and the pandemic but they were not impacted the same way across all grade level. The kids that have been impacted the most are the ones in the early grades, which makes sense because these are the grades where the children are learning to read. They have not yet become independent readers to be able to read on their own. The effect also seems to have been um, larger for children who were already struggling in reading before COVID. For this specific group of kids, they are performing well below grade level compared to controls. Thank you for attending my presentation.